Hello and welcome to the episode 294 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have two gigs around midnight, three studio sessions and a 1969 interview. Let's start with yet another night at the Kaiser Keller on the 21st of October 1960. It was the continuation of the first Hamburg residency for the Beatles, still featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. In 1961, the Beatles, still with Pete Best on drums, performed two slots at an evening dance event at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, one before midnight and the other immediately after. The bill comprised also of Jerry and the Pacemakers, the Rim of Four and several local jazz bands. Another appearance at the Cavern Club one year later, in 1962. This time, the Beatles featured their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums. On the 21st of October 1963, producer George Martin and his staff proceeded with the preparation of the Beatles' next UK single, mixing both I Want to Hold Your Hand and This Boy in mono. Working between 10 am and 1 pm at the EMI Studios in London, Martin decided to alter the finale of This Boy with a fade out, thus replacing the full ending recorded on the 17th of October. See episode 290 for that. Another mixing session in 1964, still at the EMI Studios and still with George Martin acting alone, without the Beatles. This time, Martin prepared mono masters of I Feel Fine, I'll Follow the Sun, She's a Woman, and Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby, working from 2.30 to 5.45 pm. Of all the mixes prepared today, some were used for UK releases and some, slightly different, were sent to Capitol Records for the North American market. In the evening, the Beatles continued the Scottish leg of their yearly British tour, playing two shows at the Audion Cinema in Glasgow. 1965, the Beatles worked on a remake of This Bird Has Flown, now called Norwegian Wood This Bird Has Flown, working at the Abbey Road Studios between 2.30 and 7 pm. After recording the song anew in three takes, the band launched in the day's second session without any break, tackling another Lennon composition, Nowhere Man. After two takes of the rhythm track, only one of which was complete, they left the work unfinished when the session was wrapped up at midnight. Let's close the episode with the 1969 interview John Lennon and Yoko Ono gave to BBC Radio 1's David Wigg at the Apple Core building. The pretext of the interview was the promotion of Plastic Ono Band's new single, called Turkey, and John and Yoko's wedding album, but the centerpiece of the talk was the couple's peace campaign. John also commented that the change of the distribution of the Apple monies that he was advocating, his royalties would have been made payable to him directly and not through Apple as it was at the moment for him and the other Beatles, wouldn't have led to the Beatles splitting up, and he urged Paul and George to record solo albums rather than giving their songs to other musicians. Asked about the band, John commented, Whatever happens to the Beatles' so-called will always be sort of friends, you know? So, all I want for the Beatles is their individual happiness and whether that's in a collective form or not remains to be seen. The interview was partially aired on the 26th of October during Seen and Heard, between 3 and 4 pm, and it was released in a longer format on The Beatles Tapes with David Wig LP. This almost concludes our episode today. Before wrapping things up, I have to remind you to please visit www.simonmas.com support to see what you can do to allow me to keep producing this and other music-related content full-on. Thank you for any help you might want to give, 
and see you tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.